Good morning. Well, good morning to me. Who knows the time you guys are going to watch this. Probably going to be an evening launch, but going out duck hunting again. I uh, went out yesterday and it was extremely difficult. The tide was a positive tide on top of having a bunch of flood water. So pretty much got out there, sat there for two or three hours, and I didn't have anywhere to sit. Uh, decoys were floating away. The dog didn't have anywhere to hide. It ended up with two birds. Um... A Drake Mallard and a Drake Widgeon. So it wasn't a bust, but we did get only two birds. I want to see seven, you know, eight, nine, ten, eleven, but whatever. Um, today I'm doing something a little different. I'm taking myself out. I got my kayak ready to get loaded up here. I got a dozen decoys. I decided to go with a dozen mallards because that's what, you know, you can get most commonly in a decoy box when you go out and buy a dozen birds. Um, they're not any particular brand just because I just had a bunch of decoys laying around that were rigged up ready to go. So I grabbed four drakes and eight, yeah, eight hen uh, decoys that are rigged up. So hopefully today I can sit, actually sit inside the yak, got the blind hooked up, tightened everything down, clipped it all in. And then that way, if the water does come up too high and I'm hiding, I can just slip right in the kayak and be covered and good to go. So, All right, quick update. I uh, got my decoys out, got my dozen mallards. Uh, birds really aren't flying too much right now. I've been out for about an hour. I was sitting originally along this bank line, but the water's so high now that there's nowhere I can really sit. So I decided to move. I got in the yak, as you can see. Kind of tucked myself into some reeds. There's a whole flock right there. Let's see what happens. Bunch of divers. Nothing came over. Let's see if we can get on the calls. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got him. One down. All right. And I don't have any extra ammo in my. Crap, I gotta get in my bag. Okay, here we go, here we go. On the flock. Should have taken that. I got greedy. One is mallard behind me. Well, a bird must have fell over in this crap over here. The problem with that is it's so thick I can't get the kayak into and it's already over waist deep. So I'm gonna wait till the tide keeps coming up because you can see that we still have water coming in. And once the tide gets up I shall be able to paddle through and see everything just fine so then he'll float to the top. So, yeah, hopefully I recover that one. Okay, uh, I'm here where I thought the bird landed. And there's no bird. You can see the tide's really high. I'm standing on top of my kayak. Super stable. And I'm not seeing the bird. I was sitting over there, shot him, and he flew down right over here. Jeez wheeze. You gotta be kidding me like this stuff sucks it really does so i'll come back and look but right now i notice my decoys are floating back into the reeds so what i might do is i'll end up moving down this point where if i shoot them they're gonna land in the river that's what i'm looking for because this this is not cool now i can only shoot six more birds and i can only take home six birds crappy all right lesson learned watch out in the reeds all right, I went ahead and moved spots. Uh, the reeds are just too tough to actually sit into. So I saw this tree down here, and I was like, dude, that make great cover. And so I grabbed my decoys, all dozen of them, just walked them down, or paddled them down here, and I dropped them all off. They're probably about five, 10 yards out in front of me. Just kind of grouped up, look like they're loafing. Um, this way, if I do shoot a bird, the odds of it going somewhere are gonna be highly in the favor of landing in the river. I can go get them easily, and I can get in and out problem with that reed spot over there was I just could not get out and so losing that bird sucks but not having a dog and you know hunting the from the kayak it's a possibility so just kind of keep be aware of that if you're out hunting kayaks and hiding and stuff like that that you might lose a bird too and just you know keep yourself honest 
a uh, little quick kayak tick setup tip here um, I'm a right-handed shooter so when I swing I'm gonna swing from the bow here I can swing all the way over to my right or left Blah. so I can say she I can shoot pretty much from the point of this tree all the way to my left and swing easily uh, if I had been straight on I can't swing far to the right just due to the fact the gun and the reach is gonna be off so having the kayak canted towards the right it's gonna open up a lot more shooting for me and uh, kind of blend me with the bank a little bit so hopefully having this tree as a backdrop and these bushes behind me are gonna work really good and sorry to whoever's house that is I don't mean to wake up your babies if you got any <laughs> okay let's kill some birds if they'll fly Fuck, teal just came in, and I got one. Or oh, I had one. There it is. Hell yeah. Woo! Get some more shells real quick in the gun. Yes. Bird down. Yes. There is nothing. I mean, I'm getting dive bombed a couple times by like singles, but that's it. Oh, here we go. So, another friend came out and is hunting uh, right up here on the island above me. And I think we're pushing these teal back and forth. Let's see. But yeah, awesome. Got one down. Oh, where'd it go again? Oh, crap. Oh, I see it. Right there, right past the decoys, so. Awesome, let's go get that bird. My bird, because it worked. Yeah, they came sucking in right off that tree. What is that over there? I don't know. Looks like we got ourselves a hen green wing. Yep. Two shots, one bird. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that, but nice shot with the Benelli. All right, well, it's about 2.30, and um, I just had three mergansers land on the outside of the decoys. I'm not a merganser fan. I don't like eating them, so I'm not going to shoot them. On top of that, I had to adjust my seat because it was a little soft, so I had, what, three teal come by, and then two more teal come by, and a couple buffalo heads come bobbing in, and I'm sitting here with my blind laid out open, and my gun not in handy, but... Uh, Ty's finally starting to suck out, so I've uh, seen a little bit more bird movement, which is nice. It just means that all the water in the flooded areas have uh, kind of started sucking out. I did end up moving downriver more. Um, what I decided to do was come down. There's a little slough mouth right over here. So I sat here just in the corner behind this tree to kind of give myself some cover, and I set my decoys out in front and inside that... Uh, so that current line, so they kind of dance back and forth and kind of zigzag with the wind. Um, Siri just went off on my phone. That was that was awkward. So yeah, hopefully we can shoot some birds that are delicious. Or I just need to quit being so picky. So <laughs> let's kill some. Really, just outside. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. There's not a lot of birds. There's not a lot of birds, that's for sure. Ah, crap, decoy's floating away. Gotta go. So I'm just trying to wrap my decoys around this point here, make them a little more visible. For the few birds that are flying, there is not a huge evening flight like I usually see. So it's been really, really, really friggin' tough. Tough hunt, tough hunt. But, you know what? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> At least I killed, got, you know, two birds with a dozen decoys. So it is doable. I'm not giving up yet. I'm gonna keep going. I think I got another 45 minutes for shooting lights actually over, over. There's one. Man, I gotta get back in there. They're kind of starting to move again. 
Oh. Try and just tuck myself into these reeds again. Well, can officially say we're in a slow time of year. Um, I was thinking to myself as I was sitting out there, like this is really, this is abnormal. This is a spot that usually produces for me even when the main bays aren't uh, cooking with birds. So, so I got home and I got cleaned up and I called a couple buddies that I usually hunt with and they they all agree that it's that time of the year. Yeah, we had this, we had this happen last year where we had literally had two weeks almost of one to two birds every outing and then all of a sudden just picked up and just something snapped with the weather. The birds started coming down. We got a ton of birds. But I think we got it. We hit it. We hit the low spot right now. So now we just gotta wait. We gotta wait for this low pressure system to come build up, cold fronts to come bombing down. Just something. We need something to break this. Um, one teal is what I got. Uh, I lost that other duck. I wish I could have retrieved it. Especially if I would known how slow it was, maybe I would have not taken the shot. You know, and not lost it. Um, I just assumed that I was going to hit the main body of water and get it, and it didn't. So, oh. oh well. Oh well. Hopefully the next hunt's a little better. Uh, I end up taking the dog or something. I don't know. I just, I'm going to go find some birds and maybe set up pass shooting opportunities. So, hey. Eh. Uh, hit like, subscribe. Um, maybe next time I can go over the kayak more. Just tell me what you guys want. That was horrible.